morning, everybody. I'm reading Mark 10 from verse 35. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him, to Jesus, saying, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. And he said to them, What do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Grant us that we may sit one on your right hand and the other on your left in your glory. I'm skipping to verse 41. And when the ten heard it, they began to be greatly displeased with James and John. It seems that James and John had plotted, apparently with their mother, Matthew tells us, to try to get ahead. They wanted to be the top people in the kingdom of God. But when the rest of the disciples heard about it, they were not happy. Why weren't they happy? Is it because they, they themselves had not taken the chance to try to get ahead by making a similar request to Jesus? Or was it just plain and simple envy? Perhaps it was both. But Jesus cut right across what all of them were thinking when he told them, whoever of you desires to be first shall be slave of all, slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. If we are motivated by selfish ambition or even worse envy we really need to call upon the Lord to deliver us from it as Paul taught us in Philippians 2 3 we are to think of others as better than ourselves we are to acknowledge that all we have all of it has been received from God as as Paul told us in 1 Corinthians 4 verse 7, we've received everything. We are to rejoice in the success of other people. And our aim is to be to serve others. Such is the glorious kingdom of God with Jesus himself, our great example, at its head. Amen. Have a great day.